Let's take a look at how to find the slope of a ramp. So here would be a ramp. This is something your textbook might be asking. It's something we see a lot in textbooks. So when we speak about the slope of a ramp, a lot of times people get confused, but we're really just talking about the same slope that we use on the coordinate plane or that you use when you talk about y equals mx plus b, where that's the slope. So it's the same slope, and slope is rise over run. It just says, how much did it go up, and how much did it go over? That's all, it's as simple as that. So let's say on this ramp it was six feet tall, and let's say it was 14 feet long. And when we say 14 feet long, we don't mean the actual ramp if you measured with a tape measure, but from where it starts to where it ends, the distance is 14 feet here. So the slope of this ramp would be rise, how much does it go up, six, and how much does it go over? 14. So the slope would be 6 over 14. And of course, anytime you can reduce, you should. So we can divide this by 2 and that by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So we'd say the slope of this ramp is 3 sevenths. It goes up. For every 3 feet, it goes up. It goes over 7 feet. 